Hello again, friends. Today we are not playing a game. Today we are doing something a little bit different. Today, I am showing you how to transform Studio Series Dropkick. Now, I won't be showing you how to transform him, transform him back in the car mode, because that is really annoying, and it takes forever for me to get it. But, I could show you how to bring in the robo mode real fast. So, here you could look around at the car for a moment. And there's the top of the car if you wanted to see that. Well, anyway, so how you start to transform this guy... Oh yeah, and this is one of the reasons why I do not want to transform back. I don't know if you can see it, but the panels on the door and back here don't line up. I I don't know how. See, I don't know how that happens. But anyway, so how do you transform this guy? You first gotta open the door. So once you got the doors out, you then gotta pull these down, and then all the way up. So, then, you could pull down the legs out of here. There. And now, you got to move this down here. Now, this is where it gets annoying for me to transform him back. Because you got to pull this all the way up here, but then down here. Anyway, in order now you just pull his feet down, and that's pretty much just his legs. Now you can fold all of this up. I don't know if you've seen that actually. Uh, basically, it went like that, and then you just do this. Anyway, next step you can just fold fold this little piece here inward, and then inward again. And then back some more. Okay, well, actually, that one has to wait a minute. Anyway, now we got to pull these little pieces down. These little pieces right here. These little things. This one and this one can go down so that this can come out. Now, once that's out, you push those pieces that we just pushed down inward. So it does that. Now, now you can fold that piece down. But now, in order to get the head out, you need to push back on the hood in order to turn it over so that, boom, there's his head now. And now, you just snap it all Actually, wait a minute, I forgot his arms. It kind of looks like Barricade. He kind of has Barricade's hands from, like, the game. But anyway, you turn this over to get that, and then you turn that over again in order to turn it there. And then you push that down in there. And then that fits perfectly in there. And there you go, his first arm. Now I just do the exact same thing over here. And then that will give him his other arm. Push that all the way down now. Now, since he has both of his arms now, the last step is to push his legs all the way up. Wait a minute, put his feet down. Put that down too. Yeah, put this little tab here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little tab there. Yeah, there you can see it better. There's like a little tab there in the center. Anyway, it connects into this little hole up here. So then you just push it into that. Somehow. Uh, clearly, there is something up. Uh, oh, there we go. So now that that's there, you can now just fold his abs 
up where they need to go, and then put his chest down again, put that all back, and then boom, there you go, it's dropped. Now, he's supposed to have a cannon, but I do not remember where his cannon goes, or where it went, actually. But I do have it. I don't know where it went. He is kinda small though, but it is a studio series. Now if I had Shatter, it it would be the same size because studio series it's supposed to be uh Green accurate from the Bumblebee movie. Now, in order, to, I'm gonna actually try to transform him back, but just to show you guys how annoying this thing can get. So basically, you gotta pull that back up, pull this out again. And now, the first step of annoying is getting this thing out of place again. So you had to pop in there. This is the first annoying step. Because you gotta somehow get the chest out of it. Oh, there it went. Normally that's a lot more difficult. Anyway, now you got to uh, turn it back how it needs to go completely for his arms again boom like that now i don't think i mentioned that his arms is literally all the tires are on his arms which is kind of annoying because they gotta go there in order to get out anyway now you could flip these little things down again turn the head back how it's supposed to go After that, take all of this, put it all back, so that's just a car. It's a car, but it's a robot. <laughs> so that's pretty much Transformers anyway. <laughs> anyway. You then got. I'm gonna open the doors again because I do not know why I did that. I think I purely, I purely did that just for a joke, honestly. Anyway, you put this all the way back up, put the feet back in in order to get that to work. Now that that's all there, we gotta put all this into place. Put that down there so that it actually fits. And now, because all of that is there, we gotta turn this up so that it will go back into place here. So that will do that. And now, all we have to do now. Is the t oh wait a minute these things go into place? Anyway, now you just put these into place so that they can be the tires, and because that's there, now you just got to uh. Put that stuff there. And now, as best I can turn him back into a car mode. He's basically back how he was. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I don't know how many I'm going to do like this. Because normally I just play games. But, I hope you do like this one. Anyway, see you in the next video, friends.